talking to Mickey Matthews and his staff earlier this week, Drew. He was very concerned about the right tackle, Mac Kraut, a redshirt freshman from Fredericksburg, and how he'd be able to handle the challenge of this big Virginia Tech defensive line. Well, we're late in the third quarter, and JMU is still in this ball game. Virginia Tech has won 32 consecutive non-conference home games. Dudzik swarmed at the 15-yard line. A trio of Tech defenders were there. Bruce Taylor left, led the charge. Here you see as they run the speed option. Taylor does a real nice job turning back inside. Turns it back inside, uh, allows, allows his teammates to come wrap up. James Madison is 3 and 15 all time against FBS teams. They have not beaten one since 1990. They won against Navy in two consecutive years and they beat UVA in 1982. From the pistol this time, Dudzik rolling with time and throws it out of bounds. Yeah, that's a smart play. And you can see the intensity from Bud Foster. Frank Beamer, go back to his first game as the head coach of the Hokies in 1987. They lost their home opener to Clemson. Since then, the Hokies have won 21 of their last 22 home openers. James Madison. Made the 120 mile trip. They came southwest from Harrisonburg, Virginia. They're trying to spoil the party. But they need a big play here. This drive has gone a dozen plays and taken six and a half minutes off the clock. Empty set. Dudzik throws. Flag down in the end zone. Brian Barlow was the intended receiver. See, they got five receivers out, I meaning they got man to man coverage all the way across. Either called a hold or a PI. Holding number 51, the defense. That penalty is half the distance to the goal. First penalty of the game against Virginia Tech is a big one. A hold against Bruce Taylor. It gives JMU an automatic first down. Yeah, that's a huge penalty. Could have been off the field. Could have held him to three points. Could have fresh set of downs on the eight. Kirby Long is at the bottom of your screen. Out of the pistol. First and goal. This is Sullivan. And Sullivan is down near the six-yard line. And we're already inside of five minutes to play in a very quickly played third quarter. Both teams have put together good drives. Converted on third down, run the ball well, completed some passes. Fox been running. You joined us late. James Madison does not have Justin Thorpe available today. He's got a bone bruise. He's going to be out for at least six weeks. Drew Dudzik has been the quarterback all afternoon for James Madison. Second down and goal from the seven. Dudzik on the keeper inside the five. Touchdown, James Madison. A beautiful fake, and Dudzik took it into the end zone. Great read by Dudzik. Run this play a few times a day, but this time he pulled it and found a nice crease. Great decision to take it himself. Extra point attempt. It's good. 16-14. Ball game. 